Right, if you're watching this, um, you're probably here because you've got a Volkswagen Transporter T5, T6, I think even the T6.1 with the factory combi sliding windows that leak. Um, I haven't had any problems with um, water ingress, mainly because I really look after my seals on these windows. Um, but if any water does get past those, it does not invariably end up uh, in the van. So I've taken it all apart to see if I can see what the issue is. And it has been documented before, but I just thought I'd do a short video. The issue is this um, cassette mechanism isn't bonded properly to the glass. So I'll just I'll just show you what I've found. And um, this is a 2017 factory combi. So whether they're different on early models, I, I don't know, or the T6.1, I don't know. So what you've got is two small drain holes that drain to the outside of the vehicle down the side of the glass. You've got one here. So as you can see, that goes down there. And you've got one at the front, which goes down, to see it, which goes down there. Now it's important to keep these clear, obviously, because what happens is any water gets, I've always take my window out, but any water that gets down behind this seal, as you can just see here, there's a, there's a little lip here and that basically forms a, a slight sort of channel here. So any water that falls in here gets into this channel and either falls that way into that slot or forward into this one. Now, if, if any water overpowers that channel, it, it can fall down here and then into this channel here. And then when the water gets into this channel, it can drain down. Can't quite see it. There's a hole there. There's a little hole there, and underneath, underneath this molding here, is a. There's another piece of plastic underneath it. It's like a little um, pan almost. And what that pan does is it funnels the water from this hole, this drain hole here, and it and it it goes into the same hole as that one there, and and exits down the van. And, and the same, so any water, not that you'll get much in here because it's fixed, any water comes along here, if it doesn't spill into that one, you can see it'll just overflow into that one down the front here and then into this one. And again, water goes in this one and there's a little tray underneath and it ends up uh, falling out of, uh, it joins into where this one is and falls on the outside. Now I've checked, if I put water in here, it runs down here into there and out to the outside of the van. The same if I put, if I put, um, well, technically, if I, let's just let that focus. If I, if I put water in this channel, so this is what I tried to do. If I put, if I put a syringe of water in this channel here, what basically happens is it doesn't run down the front into this channel. What it actually does is just seeps down through, so it's in this this little groove here. See this groove here? There's a groove. I want a bit of. You see that any better? It's only on my phone. Apologies for the awful photography. Um, so what it does, it, it basically leaks between here and the glass, and then this isn't a one-piece molding. It's got some other bits molded into it, and anyway, it ends up inside the van, uh, dripping into this molding here, and then down onto the top of the door. So what I'm going to do is, it seems fairly logical to me that if I can improve the seal between here and here, any water that gets in here should run in this little groove and either into these, this front and rear drain hole or, or potentially over and into this drain hole and out. So what I'm going to do is I've got some, um, it's a high, uh, high performance silicon that's specifically designed for glass and plastic. And I'm going to put some masking tape on here and I'm going to put some masking tape on here and I'm going to make the finest bead I can along this joint here. What I'm going to do is very carefully not be very careful not to fill these drain holes up. So what I'm going to do, this is just a piece of that old brick band, you know, the, the banding stuff that packages are, are packaged up in that you normally just cut off or trip over when you've, you know, taken it off a package. So I'm going to cut two bits in there not at the full width of the slot put those in and then leave them in while i put the silicon on so that i physically can't block them up and then pull them out afterwards so 
I'm going to get on and do that. Um, I may take another short video while I'm doing it. I may not and show you when it's finished and if it works. Right, so I've um, cleaned all this up, used isopropyl alcohol and also warmed it up a bit. Um, this is the um, this is like a fine edge masking tape I just got from Tool Station. So you may or may not be able to see. I'll get my poker. Um, so I've put it, it's literally a couple of mil up and a couple of mil in and i've pushed it tight into that groove with a edge of a trim tool so so now you can see there's a it, if you could just see it my camera go that good um there's going to be a nice small bead of silicon in there you don't want it too big because i still want to retain some of the channel and then obviously here i've put in my banding to stop blocking up the, the drain holes. Now, I'm not 100% sure that even if I seal this, if the water then runs down here and goes into the drain holes, I'm not 100% sure whether once it gets in, whether that drain hole is connected to the outside or whether once it gets in there, it will then just leak out into this underside of this fitting. I, I don't know that until I try. I did consider going straight across this drain hole um, because I know that then the water would, would run past this and down into to this one here but I think this having this drain hole open will help this drain if the water gets here but also it helps you can poke something down it to clear out because it also connected with this this little drain hole here so I, I kind of want to leave that in so it's a bit of a punt at the minute I'll, ha I'll have to see um, like I said the water may just go uh, into there and then leak out again I don't know but I'm going to give this a go and put a really thin bead of silicon in there that I can then sort of clean out with my fingers and then take the tape off so this is the this is the silicon I'm using um tool station five or six quid I think it's specifically for glass and plastic so a little tip what I've done is and I'll show you is if you put the the tip that comes with it where is it there it is um don't cut the end of the tip at all so just leave it i don't know if i can even see that um leave it with the the factory end on the nozzle and then what i did as as i was because don't forget your masking tape will take care of the neatness of the bead as you push the mastic in you basically run the nozzle in as well and if you run the nozzle in the groove and slowly pushing it don't push too much in what what that does is it actually the nozzle uh, is leaves the bead so it leaves it nice and neat and you know so you don't have to get your finger in there or anything like that so obviously when I take this masking tape off there'll just be a nice neat rounded bead to the shape of this uh, to the shape of that nozzle so now that the silicon's in there I'm not really going to wait for it to dry um, I'll pop this these little packers uh, spaces out one two that's it and then we should be able to carefully peel this masking tape off should leave a nice neat bead in there oh, I'm gonna put this down now because I'm gonna get in a cup of all right so got the masking tape off and then just one sort of final pass really carefully I just had my little finger and I just put my little finger just on top of it in the groove just very gentle pressure and that's just if I focus on that yeah so that's just smooth that down nice so it's not it's not some great big horrible mastic bead um, I mean perhaps I should have done it in black but it, if you get black in a mess it looks horrible so 
I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to uh, get some water in my syringe and see if it's made any difference. Right, here we go. Uh, it's the next day now. This has had 24 hours to go off. So I've got a syringe with some water in. Let's replicate what would happen if some water got past the seal of the window. So if I just put a little bit in here, see what happens. Just run it down here. Obviously confident it's, it's not gonna leak between that, because I only sealed that yesterday. Just, let's just lay it in there, try and keep it in that channel. Right, there you go, it's rolling. So let's see, it's going down into the drain now. Here it goes. Let's see what's happening here. Nothing there, hopefully, yes. It's, can we see it there? It's coming out of the drain hole, which is great. But the real question is, I'll just buzz a bit more in there. Obviously it can't now leak down. It's, oh, there you go. So a bit's leaked into that tray there. Oh, let's just make that run down there. There, so it's... There it goes, look, draining into there, you can see that. And outside down there, which is good. So the question is, have we got any down here? And it normally does take sort of a few moments for it to leak because it, it gets drops into here and then sort of goofs about. But that is looking promising there. Hold my breath. Yeah, so that's good. I think that amount of water would have come out of there by now. It certainly did when I was testing it. So it seems that this drain hole here is. Uh, watertight to the to the glass so this is the drain hole here so it does seem that now I've sealed it from there into into that drain hole that once it hits that drain hole that drain hole is connected straight to the outside and not the inside so I'm gonna run some more water in there and come back Right, so I've given this about five or six syringe fulls of water, about uh, 60 millilitres. It, it's, it's plenty. And I kind of just drenched it everywhere. It's got into this groove here, into this one. It's draining down into that little hole there. It's draining there. It's all running along here. You can see it's running down into this one. And then it is running down into there. It, it runs along this groove and into that drain hole as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to call that. A success I mean that is a lot of water that technically would have got past the seal it's that it's absolutely bone dry that definitely would have come out of here by now 